uh, greetings from Finland and uh, from the Helsinki Business College. We are the coordinator of the DHUB project. It stands for Digital Innovation Hub for Cloud-Based Services. So, to put it simply, we are creating hubs for helping SMEs to, to develop the smart cloud-based services. My name is Jouni Hytönen. I work uh, in the college as a development manager. And I have been innovating this project from the very beginning. I will start by uh, introducing the college uh, shortly. Uh, and after that, uh, Mr. Harry Hautala, uh, the project manager of the Hub project, will continue. Well, the uh, Helsinki Business College is the biggest vocational education provider in Finland on two branches, business management and information and media technology. We are quite active in development services through different projects in national and international level. Our projects are integrated intensively to our vocational education, training and learning, and especially through uh, work-based learning methodology. What is important in these uh, centers of vocational excellence? It's collaboration. We collaborate heavily with different stakeholders, which are basically other vocational education providers, higher education institutions, I mean, universities and universities of applied science, SMEs, that means small and medium sized enterprises. And then, of course, we collaborate with the uh, business support organizations like Chamber of Commerce and different kind of associations promoting business. And of course, we collaborate with policymakers, which makes uh, this development these development processes possible through funding. Our core aim is to offer skilled workforce to business life and help SMEs to develop their services as well. At this stage, I, be, I will give a floor to Mr. Harry Hautala, the project manager of the Hub project. So, Harry, please, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Joni. Uh, yes, uh, as Joni said, I am the project manager for this uh, D-Hub project. Uh, the D-Hub stands uh, for Digital Innovation Hub for Cloud-Based Services. So it's about being a hub and uh, working with the state-of-the-art technologies. So, uh, as the slide uh, demonstrates, uh, the hub is for it's for students and the vet, vet education providers. It's also for the industry and to support the business. So this is really cutting all the silos away and mixing mixing everything to get up get something new to to produce. So we concentrate on cloud services. We also include IoT, Internet of Things, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So it's really the newest technologies are involved in this project. Uh, if I explain a bit about the hub and, and the partners in the hub, we have five countries involved. We have Finland, Estonia, we have Croatia, we have Bulgaria, and we have Portugal. We have, in, in all these countries, we have educational institutions, uh, chambers of commerce, and other industry associations involved in this project. So we're really trying something new and a new type of collaboration. Then if I go a bit deeper into what the D-Hub is working on. So as I said, it's a digital innovation hub uh, and it's for cloud-based services, really to bring uh, the uh, state-of-the-art technology even to the smallest companies. 
and it's a training program, uh, a special kind of training program for for the students in the colleges and uh, going up to universities of applied sciences. And then uh, the project is also uh, creating reports. We we measure what we do, and we we uh, try to improve the quality all the time throughout the project. So there are lots of measures towards uh, uh, skills excellence. And then if I go explain about the activities we do, uh, we have our target is to reach 50 companies throughout the European Union, to have them to bring their development projects and their development ideas and then we have the group of students, three to four students working for each development project. So the students and the companies are working together. And, and it's a real life project. It's not a, a, a theory. It's a, there's nothing like school. It's all real life, the real skills. Uh, we are planning to run uh, the training program twice through this project in each country, in all these five countries we have. And uh, it will create uh, the European-wide service model and, and uh, we will work as an interconnected hub. Uh, next, I tell you something about the training itself. Uh, this is a 21-day training it sounds a bit short but you must understand uh, there are um, students have already studied so they have they have a background and this is just to sharpen their skills it's like uh, the top uh, notch training period and after the training they go to companies they spend some 100 to 130 days in a company creating the project and they are learning and also the companies are learning at the same time the first round uh, was supposed to start in uh, uh, may this year and uh, the covid well it slowed us down a bit but not much we decided okay it's it we don't need to travel we don't need to we can keep the social distance and work together so the first round is uh, midway now and uh, we are starting the second round in in fall 2020 and the requirement was supposed to be 15 students per round per country so there are lots of students involved and at, at this moment the, the the these quotas have been successful we have the students and we have the companies we also issue a certificate of completion after this training session. And then we need a photo from the classroom. And this is our classroom. It's, it's in Teams and we have uh, uh, to it, taken this picture yesterday from the training. Uh, so this is how we work in real life. Then we have a couple of cases already to demonstrate. The first case comes from Finland. This is a company who needs a um, artificial intelligence solution for their newsfeed uh, business. And this is a project uh, now uh, occurring in, in Finland. And the next project comes from Croatia. And this is from Algebra University. It's a state-of-the-art prototype of a cloud management software. I'm sure you will hear from this later on in the future, once the prototype turns out to production version. So real, there's really something to look for. And uh, at this moment, uh, I will uh, say 
thank you for behalf of our DHub project team. And uh, we especially thank uh, Technica and the European Commission for supporting this event. Thank you. Thank Kitas. you. Kitas. Now we have some questions for you that I took from the chat. So the first one is, if the DHAP project promotes open platforms or paid ones? itself, well, they will be both. There is open source software and then there are um, uh, paid, paid software and play, paid cloud services. One more question is if you have in mind any specific sector of you are thinking in your project as a trans sector project. Well, actually, we haven't specified any sector. So, so there are lots of SMEs uh, which are in the need of a AI solution and through cloud-based technology. So, any any field of industry can be uh, the one. Yeah, technology is itself uh, like cloud and artificial intelligence can be easily applied to any any industry. So therefore, we are open to all, all industries. Good. Thank you. So I will ask you one more question. And it's a question regarding the difference between real skills and school skills. What, does, what are the difference between school skills and real skills? Uh, what do you mean by that real, real skills and uh, school skills? Maybe finally those have to be uh, the same same skills in reality so so that's maybe the only solution and while we are use using uh, well uh, web, well uh, vbl work based learning so so those will be united through that way yeah so that's actually the solution i would say any school any education sector if, if uh, the vocational education and the skills are not aiming uh, for, for real life skills, uh, you should have a warning bell ringing. You must change the education so that it serves the industry and improves uh, uh, the, the economy in, in, in your country. Okay, so thank you very much to both of you for your presentation.